pay. You, you know, the president may actually have bigger challenges than even he thinks on the issue that Monica was talking about there, and that would be uh, jobs, because Wall Street's starting to become more skeptical over some of the job numbers. Liz McDonald's on that story uh, for us today. She's in the newsroom. We've had all these revisions. Can we really trust the numbers? And uh, boy, this is kind of an interesting yeah, story. Yeah, you know, Connell, Connell, we're seeing an unusual trend uh, breaking out in the jobless data. For the last 58 of 59 weeks, there have been jobless revisions, but all of them have been back-to-back -back higher jobless revisions. You can see this here starting in the beginning of the year, starting in January. The blue line is the initial jobless claims coming in. Check out the next line. You're going to see a red fever line on top of that blue line showing that the claims actually were higher after the revision. So again, 58 of the last 59 weeks, meaning more than a year, back-to-back -back revisions higher, meaning the weekly improvement is not as strong as initially the first batch of numbers initially uh, suggest. So, you know, the initial jobless claims not looking so great after the revisions. And we saw it just this week, uh, Connell, when you do the week to week comparisons, it's usually against a number that was revised higher. So you have a lower number coming in uh, in the most recent data, but then compared to a higher number, which was actually revised. So right. that, this is a big problem for Wall Street. And economists are sitting up and scratching their heads saying, What's going on here? Could be a potential problem, as we're talking about with Monica, for uh, the president, especially with jobs being so important this year. But I mean, it's, it seems kind of weird that you would have this many revisions to the upside in a row. But is it common? I mean, how often does this kind of thing happen? It's uncommon, according to economists. And uh, Nomura, for example, is t warning uh, Wall Street to say, hey, you know, take a look at the data, take a look at the data as it comes in and figure and bet that the, there will be a revision and stick to the numbers around 380,000, 380,000 for a revision, meaning the revised number higher. Uh, so, you know, even Wall Street is taking uh, notice of this. And this is happening for more than a year, not just the beginning of the year. And in fact, Connell, get this. We looked at the numbers, Charlie Brady and I, going back to November, and the initial numbers are understated by 100,000 jobs. So that's not even going back the 58 weeks that we caught this trend. Right. So there's probably an understatement of multiples of that. So again, understatement of jobless claims by about 100,000 going back to November. So we'll be checking wow. this data and getting back to you with more, Connell. Thanks a lot. Potentially big story. Thank you, Liz. Liz McDonald there in the news.